This is a test in the waters phase. Uh, we will uh, be talking to a lot of people. We'll be raising some money. We'll be putting together a staff in order to uh, reach out some, to some more people and uh, test the level of support we have. We've not made a final decision on it, but obviously we're pretty, thinking pretty seriously about it. Uh, so we'll see a little bit later on where we go. It's a one step uh, at a time process. We've been going through it for a while. Uh, it takes a little while to, to turn everything around, you know, in terms of your professional obligations, in terms of uh, uh, your, your family and your, your life and so forth, and uh, making sure that in uh, my case the man fits the times. And uh, that takes some serious consideration and talking to a lot of people and listening to a lot of people. That's what we've been doing. That's what we're going to continue to do for a while. Well, there are a lot of things different now than from 2000. Uh, I think that uh, my own situation is different. Um, I am uh, married now, I have two children at home. Um, I spend a lot of time thinking about the kind of world that they're going to grow up in. Spend a lot of time talking to my wife uh, about that. Um, I'm happier than I've ever been. Uh, I've got my back covered, so to speak, and with regard to anything that I want to do. And I think the country's different. I think we have challenges now that we didn't have in 2000. I think that everybody was kind of uh, sitting back and taking it easy and thinking that, uh, you know, peace and prosperity were going to kind of uh, last forever. I think we know better than that now. I think people take things more seriously because uh, the world situation is different. We live in a more dangerous world. Things that threaten our very existence, things that threaten our peace, things that uh, threaten our economic stability. and. Uh, so, as I say, if a person has an opportunity to do something about those things uh, and he's happy and solid in his personal life, then I think you've got to seriously think about it. Well, that's, uh, that's the process I'm going through. I don't think anybody's got all the answers to anything, but uh, uh, I have uh, been in and around uh, government and the political process for a while. I was a federal prosecutor. Uh, I served in the United States Senate and I go back to Watergate. I saw what happens when uh, power corrupts uh, people very close up as a, as a young man. Since I've been uh, out of the Senate, I've had a chance to chair uh, uh, an advisory board of the State Department on international matters. Uh, I served on the China Commission for a while, so I've maintained my interest in, in what goes on in the world. But it's ultimately up to the American people what they think about it. Uh, there are probably an awful lot of people who think they'd make a good president. Um, I think that uh, I've never desired to hold the office particularly. Uh, in fact, not at all. But uh, at this stage of, uh, of things, uh, I sometimes think that I do desire the opportunity to do some things that only a president can do. Well. Uh, uh, the, the experts decided some time ago that you had to raise $100 million this year. Do you think that? Uh, no, clearly not. Uh, they decided some time ago that you had to start running maybe a couple of years ago and building your organization. I'm very curious as to where they're right. I don't think they are. Uh, I don't know who made those rules. I don't know who the experts are. Uh, I'm too late to follow the rules even if I wanted to and I don't want to. So, uh, you know, best I can tell, here I am not having spent a dime in the middle of the pack. So, uh, we'll see who's right, me or the experts. <laughs>